Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing really really good. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about a foundation. Yes, yes, we are back with another foundation review video. I understand there was a really long gap in making foundation review videos. Finally, I just sat down to make this foundation review for you guys. So yes, continue watching this video. And before getting into the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe and if you're not following me in my instagram page then this is my insta handle do check out my instagram page and follow me there as well so yes without further ranting let's quickly jump into the video so in this video we are going to talk about this foundation this foundation is the huda beauty uh, Fox Filter Skin Finish Foundation. This has got buildable coverage and especially this is a foundation stick. If you're watching my video for a long time, you know my skin type and skin concern. But then if you're watching my video for the first time, then my skin type is combination to oily skin. And my skin concern is I have acne prone skin and it's really, really sensitive. Let's check whether this foundation goes well for this oily, acne prone, sensitive skin type or not. So in today's video, I'm going to use this foundation. Now this one is the Huda Beauty Fox Filter Skin Finish Buildable Coverage Foundation Stick. So my shade in this foundation is 430N Gingerbread. So quickly I'm going to apply this foundation and then I'm going to blend it using a foundation blending brush. So I'm going to go in sections. I hope you guys can understand the shade match because this side it's my bare face I don't have anything on this side where this side I have the foundation on so I'm in the shade 430 in gingerbread so yeah now you can understand whether the shade is a good match or not because beauty foundations are quite expensive so I don't want you guys to mess up with the shade every time when I do a foundation video I apply it all throughout my face and then i show it and later i understand few of you guys were not able to understand the shade match like you are not able to find whether that is a perfect match for my skin tone or not so i plan to do this uh, step instead of doing one side with sponge and the other side with foundation blending brush i just wanted to incorporate this step so if you guys are referring my skin tone for your foundation match then that will definitely help you guys so yeah this side foundation is on and this side there's no foundation i have already done a little bit of orange correction around this area and this area because i have very evident hyperpigmentation on these areas now if you're similar to my skin tone then this shade is perfect perfect match now i'm going to do the other side of my face So yes, this is how one layer of this foundation looks like. Basically with one layer, it's not heavy. I don't feel like I'm wearing some foundation on my skin. It's really, really lightweight. And the coverage is also good, but I'm not gonna stop it here. I'm gonna build it up because it has been mentioned like uh, this foundation has got buildable coverage. It's not a very extremely mattifying foundation. When we talk about Huda Beauty, all that comes to our mind is the matte effect the foundation gives. I'm talking about the other foundation, the Huda Beauty liquid or mousse foundation that comes in this glass bottle package. But this one is a stick foundation. But guys, I'm telling you, I have tried a lot of stick foundation, but nothing worked really well for my skin type because I have got oily, acne prone, sensitive skin. Most of the stick foundation doesn't work well, but this foundation is like an exact match for my skin tone. And this one gives me a really skin like finish without, you know, feeling very heavy on my skin. So I absolutely, absolutely love this one so let's go in with second layer to find whether this has got buildable coverage or not whether it's going to turn cakey if i go in with second layer let's blend it Thank you. 
Guys, I'm done with two layers of this foundation application and trust me, it has got a really amazing coverage and it's still very lightweight, but this foundation is not matte. It gives this very nice skin-like finish. Hope you can see the glow. Most of the time uh, when I uh, use a stick foundation, blending is always, always a really big problem for me. But then this foundation is like very easy to blend. So the formula is really, really good. I'm going to check whether it is transferring or not. Yes, this foundation is getting transferred. When I pat the cotton pad on my skin, I'm able to see like very little quantity of the foundation getting transferred. I'm going to talk about the price point of this foundation. The actual price of this foundation is 3250 bucks and you get 12.5 grams of product for the price that you pay, which is quite expensive. We always know that Huda Beauty products are quite expensive, but then they are really worth the money that you pay but but i got it for 1950 bucks if you really want to buy Huda beauty products then you can wait till the sale time most of the products get really uh, amazing price slash so you can wait till that and get your hands on the Huda beauty products because most of the time Huda beauty products will be in 50 percent off or even beyond that like 70 percent off so that is how i pick most of my Huda beauty products so yes i'm done with this foundation application and i've created this makeup look on top of the foundation now this foundation is on my face for almost two and a half hours since this is a stick foundation i thought it will oil up but then to my surprise it didn't oil up much it is very intact and it's very very lightweight there is no slip away or nothing i had my dinner but then it's sitting perfectly it's very intact there is no you know um, itching or any skin concern i have two layers of this foundation on my skin but then it's very very lightweight i have applied other things on top of this foundation with all these products i don't feel anything heavy on my skin so i absolutely love this foundation now this foundation as i have mentioned earlier it's not a mattifying foundation so if you're looking for a really matte foundation from Hoda beauty then this is not for you guys but this foundation gives a really nice you know skin like finish which is very natural instead of the matte finish and you don't have to worry about this blending because this foundation is so easy to blend it has got a really nice creamy texture and post blending it gives this nice skin like finish and over the period of time it's not going to oil up much whatever your skin type is you can definitely give it a shot but if you are on the extremely extremely oily skin category and if you're looking for a mattifying foundation then this is not something you should try i am not wearing any highlighter but then there is slight sheen because of the texture and uh, you know formula of the foundation from my side i really really enjoyed using this product so if you're looking for a nice foundation which gives the skin like finish and feels very lightweight on the skin being an oily skin person then this is going to work amazing on you guys and for dry skin this is not going to cling on to your dry patches because the formula is totally different it is not this very you know hard and tugging and pulling kind of formula it's very creamy butter like formula blends really well do not settle on your fine lines or doesn't cling to your dry patches such an amazing amazing foundation so that's it i'm done with this foundation review video hope you guys really enjoyed watching this content and hope it was really informative to you guys if you really like the content please give a big thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel please take a moment to subscribe so yes next time with another amazing content i'll meet you guys until it's bye from priya Pawan.